This is an organic chemistry problem on acids and bases, and maybe a typical question for an orgo exam. We'll specifically deal with the effect exerted by substituents on the acidity and basicity of substituted phenols, phenolates, anilines, and anilinium ions. I always like to work with real experimental data, and so, to start with, I'll provide you with the true pKa and pKb values belonging to the compound series shown. Let's recall first pKa and pKb definitions. The larger the the Ka value, the more shifted the equilibrium towards protons formation and the higher the acidity. However, since pKa is the negative logarithm of Ka, the higher the acidity, the lower the pKa. The same happens to Kb. The larger it is, the higher the hydroxide production and the more basic the substance. Again, the negative sign in the pKb definition makes it lower, the higher the basicity. How come those equilibria are more or less shifted to the right-hand side and therefore the compounds are more or less acidic or basic? In both cases, acids and bases, we could figure it out by studying the electronic structure of the conjugated bases. In the case of the phenol acidity, this means that one has to study the charge the localization on the phenolate anion, and hence its stability. In the case of aniline basicity, this requires to study aniline itself and the, the localization of the nitrogen electron lone pair, and thus its availability towards an external acid. The larger the delocalization of the phenolate negative charge, the higher its stability. The more shifted the equilibrium to the right hand side, the more acidic the phenol and the lower its pKa. On the other hand, the more delocalized the electron lone pair of aniline nitrogen, the lower its availability towards an external acid, the less shifted the equilibrium to the right, the lower aniline basicity and the higher its pKb. Can you see that the rationale is very similar in both cases? but just opposite? Yet, let me insist once more. When solving an acid-base problem like this one, you always must analyze the stability associated to the electronic structure of the conjugated bases, never that of the corresponding acids, where there are no electrons to play with. Just remember this fact because it's very important. Then it follows that the electron withdrawing groups on the ring will be able to delocalize the phenolate negative charge. They will make it more stable. Ka will be higher and the corresponding phenols will be more acidic. On the contrary, those same electron withdrawing groups will pull the nitrogen electron lone pair of aniline towards the ring, making it less prone to react with an external acid and therefore rendering the aniline less basic. Let's start our thorough study by the phenols and by the extreme pKa values. For example, the nitro group in ortho and para diminishes in 2.75 units as an average the pKa values as compared to phenol. In other words, ortho and para nitrophenol are approximately 550 times more acidic than phenol. The nitro group in ortho and para delocalizes phenolate negative charge by directly interacting with it in one of the resonance forms what allows one to write additional ones, and let us explain the higher stability of the ortho and paranitrophenolates as compared to unsubstituted phenol. The nitro group in meta also decreases pKa, but by only 1.6 units. Meta nitrophenol is only 40 times more acidic than phenol. Look up the resonance forms. In this case, the direct resonance of the nitro group with the negative charge cannot be Chained, and its delocalization is not possible by resonance effect. Despite this, meta nitrophenol is 40 times more acidic than phenol, which suggests that the nitro group in meta is still able to stabilize the negative charge by inductive effect due to its inherent electronegativity, even from the relatively remote meta position. On its part, at the other extreme of pKa phenol range, the O methyl group seems to be playing hot and cold, because in ortho and para positions, it diminishes phenol acidity by 0.1 and 0.5 pKa units, whereas in meta, it increases it by 0.3 pKa units. As always, any group in ortho and para is able to interact directly with the negative charge. The lower acidity displayed by ortho and para methoxyphenol suggests that the O methyl group does not come along with negative charges, due to the repulsion with the electron lone pairs of oxygen. However, in the meta position, the O methyl group does increase acidity, although only slightly, because the oxygen can exert its inductive withdrawing effect, slightly stabilizing the negative charge, avoiding its direct destabilizing interaction with it. In the anilines, the rationale is just the same, but its effects are opposite in terms of pKb. As already mentioned, in anilines, one has to deal with the possible delocalization of the electron lone pair of nitrogen and the so imposed limitations to 
to react with an external acid. The nitro group at ortho and para positions increases pKb in 4.8 and 3.6 units, respectively, relative to plain aniline, meaning that ortho and para aniline are correspondingly some 63,000 and 4,000 times less basic than unsubstituted aniline. The nitro group gets the aromatic ring electron-deprived by resonance, especially in ortho and para positions. If one places an NH2 group at any of those positions, its electron lone pair counterbalances the electron withdrawing effect of the nitro group by resonance interaction with a positive charge, but at the heavy cost of making it less available towards an external acid. The consequence is the strong diminution of acidity of ortho and paranitroanilines as compared to aniline. The heavier basicity decrease in ortho nitroaniline may arise from the superimposition of the nitrous to electron withdrawing effects, resonance and inductive. The latter very sensitive to distance between the interacting groups that in ortho are at the shortest one possible. In metanitroaniline, the NH2 cannot directly interact with the positive charge and the damage of the nitro group at metaposition to the basicity is less heavy. Nevertheless, basicity is decreased by 2.1 pKb units or in other words, metanitroaniline is a bit more than 100 times less basic than aniline due to the inductive electron sucking effect of the nitro group. At the other end of the pKb scale, basicity increases 0.6 units of pKb from aniline to paramethoxyaniline, which is thus four times more basic than the former. The electron-releasing O-methyl group increases the electron density of the aromatic ring, as it was mentioned in the chapter of aromatic electrophilic substitution, making the NH2 retain its electron lone pair more strongly than in unsubstituted aniline. The small diminution indicates that the effect of O-methyl from that position is not very strong. In fact, when the O-methyl group is placed in ortho, where its proximity to the NH2 allows it to exert its inductive electron withdrawing effect, the situation is a stalemate by compensating the electron releasing resonance and ortho methoxyaniline ends up as basic as aniline. Metamethoxyaniline is even less basic than aniline by meager 0.4 pKb units or three times, because at that position the O methyl group cannot directly affect the NH2 group by resonance, but can steal some electron density by electron withdrawing inductive effect as a consequence of oxygen's high electronegativity. Did you catch the explanations? Reflect, rewind, think twice, and you'll get it. See you soon. Goodbye.